down to the final four at the Bank of the West Classic, where Janina Wittmeyer met Coco van der Wey in the opening semi-final. Van der Wey, appearing in her first ever WTA semi-final, started impressively. And another error off the Van racket of Wickmeyer, who is definitely ailing, and Van der Wey making the most of the opportunity. A double break of serve lead, 4-1 opening set. The American lucky loser played extremely freely to constantly take the game to Wickmeyer. And that'll do it, the exclamation point. Big forehand winner coming to the net, and what do you know? Coco Vandeweghe, you're one set away from your first ever WTA Finals. But Whitmire, who beat second seed Marion Bartoli in the quarterfinals, was then handed away back into the match as Vandeweghe went off the boil. The Belgian now playing much more expressively, and it showed in the scoreline. And there's the break. And Vandeweghe may be a bit complacent and has offered back a chance for Wickmeyer. Wickmeyer duly served out the second set to force a decider. And the big finish, and you don't see a lot of demonstrations from Yanina Wickmeyer generally on the court, but she's fired up. She's made it even here in the semifinal. But Van der Wey, who'd beaten Yelena Jankovic on her run to the semi-finals, then rediscovered her rhythm. I like it, a little aggression. A little more sense of urgency. While Wickmeyer imploded to hand Van der Wey control. And double faulting away this fourth game. Yanina Wickmeyer, that will not bode well for the Belgian. The die was now cast. Van der Wey's performance delighted her home crowd as Wickmeyer faltered again. Van der Wey, the first lucky loser to reach a WTA final in seven years. And double faulting on match point. Coco Van der Wey in her first ever WTA semifinal has advanced to the last day with a three set victory over the five seed, Yanina Wickmeyer. 6-2, 3-6, 6-2. Vanderwey would play the winner of the other semi-final between defending champions Serena Williams and Romania's Sobrana Castella. Serena hadn't dropped a set in either of her matches in Stanford this week, and the Wimbledon champion quickly took control against Castella. Oh, the defensive lob set it up for Serena for her second break. A 5-1 lead, and she'll serve for this opening set. There were just far too many mistakes from the world number 43 to really trouble Serena in the opening set. And in just 30 minutes, the first set goes to Serena Williams. She may not be at the top of her form making the trip west, but she's certainly producing tremendous results. Castella, who struck 15 aces to beat Dominika Sibulkova in the last eight, did show a few glimpses of her firepower early in the second set. But the Romanian just couldn't consistently match Serena in any facet of the match, the American moving beautifully around the court. That's nifty stuff. That is tremendous effort to just lull Kirstea right towards the net. And when Serena broke for a second set lead, it was tough to see any way back for Kirstea. Yes. And the expertise of Williams to put Kirstea on the run, go behind the Romanian for the winner. And the break, Artie is set to the good yes. in Stanford. Serena, who's only lost twice to a player outside the top 40 since the 2009 US Open, never looked like falling here. But another gift from Kirstea, her 25th of the match, and it gives Williams all the padding she needs. The defending champion easily closed it out to set up an all-American title clash with Vanderway. And the win streaks will continue. Ten in a row for Serena Williams in 2012, seven in a row here in Stanford as she will return to the final for the second straight year to defend the crown in 2011 with a straight set 6-1, 6-2 win.